the, the, so the question was, do you think we're overpopulated? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's no question about it. Uh, talk to your ecologists. Uh, talk to Corey. Corey Bradshaw and I just wrote a book called Killing the Koala and Poisoning the Prairies, which is a comparison of the U.S. and Australia's very successful war on the environment. Uh, you're destroying your life support systems here. You're working at it really hard. You're also working to become a third world country because your specialties, specialization, of course, is to take your raw materials like your coal, which are going to destroy the world of your grandchildren and great-grandchildren, and ship as much of it unprocessed as you possibly can out to the rest of the world. A pile of coal that Australia ships annually would be about the size of that thing there, extending that way all the way around the world and back to here. That's how much coal you dig out of the ground, even though every scientist in the world knows we should stop burning it as fast as we possibly can. Uh, if you want a sustainable society, you can look to Australia. The Aborigines have the longest-term sustainable society on the entire planet. Until we came along, of course, and kind of screwed it up at the end, but they went through 40, 50,000 years of great changes and so on, managed to survive, kept their numbers reasonable. By the way, you're quite correct. If you want to solve the population problem, give women equal rights everywhere in the world, give them equal opportunities, give them access to modern contraception, give them access to safe backup abortion, and the odds are that you'll start the slow population Guess what? We'll never have sex with men again. <laughs> <laughs> they have sex with men? Oh, God, I wish you told me earlier. <laughs> anyway, uh, by the way, the age... That is one thing we'll agree on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> the aging issue is very popular with idiotic politicians in Europe. They think that because there are, as an aging population, they've got to have imports or higher birth rates in order to keep the popula population young. There's only one way that you can keep the population relatively young, and that is to keep it growing forever. It's the motto, of course, of the faith-based economic system. We're all buried in a very famous uh, uh, e uh, economist, um, Bolding, uh, Kenneth Bolding, said in 1966, anyone who thinks you can have perpetual growth on a finite planet. He's either a madman or an economist. You're going to have to stop growth. Look, you've got business. You've got a brilliant businessman in Australia who's been telling you this for years. Dick Smith, you know, he says, big Australia is a crock, which, of course, it is. We're already overpopulated here, and this is partly my country. Uh, but Dick gets out and says, you've got to design an economic system that doesn't grow. And he's absolutely right. 